Welcome to Imperium Galactic Survival Alpha 11.5 and here we are we're up on the bridge of my capital vessel because in this part what we want to do is get over here and go to the elder's tomb because what I need is some plants and more generic supplies which you would normally get from the talon and I don't really want to pay for them so that's what we're going to do is come over to here but before that I just want to give you a little bit of an update because in the last part I went and took out the lower level of the abandoned bunker and we had a pretty good clear out just to show you if I come here hey Farah you can see I've now got virtually all the resources there what I've also done is pulled over some of the resources that I had stored in my base the key resources but at the same time is because I'm using the small container for my constructor in what I've also done is created an overflow area here this is not everything that I've actually managed to get because as I say um, I've gone through here and named everything and split things up so like we've got personal supplies and I've got a whole load of stuff for sale so eventually we are going to go and try and find a trading station to sell off some of this stuff you can see as I say got lots of um, uh, boosts armor old weapons uh, night vision goggles so we'll be hoping to sell all that stuff off eventually you can see I've also got a few plants and a few meds but that's, sort of, that's all stuff that uh, eventually I will build up over time the other thing I've also done is I went out on the map and down to here and picked up the hover vehicle I know it's not much of a hover vehicle but at the same time it's something that I want to rebuild eventually we're just going to jump in here we're going to power the thrusters on now I'm aware that we are going to be flying into the dark but hopefully what i will do is sleep through the night once we get to where we're going so as i better mark where we're going actually i'm just gonna oops I'm just gonna go there and just level off now i'm aware this is a journey i've done many times so what i'll do is i will see you once we get to where we're going and while we're actually flying past now you can see because this is in the dark get a little bit better view of this island here if you look if I pull over this wave where you see the first I think that's a radar station tucked just below that is a defensive structure and there's also another one on there I'm pretty sure so we're not going to be going in there just yet you can just see it there sometimes when it's you get a nice clear night like this this is a good um, time to actually do some uh, reconnaissance so getting into there is going to be quite tough but we will be going in there eventually because I'm curious to find out what we're actually going to find in the, those radar towers. Anyway, so let's just get down to the Elder's Tomb. So here we are. We're just coming up on the Elder's Tomb. And we'll just see if we can... There's an Epsilon defense base that's a little bit too close. I can't remember if I've actually taken it down. I think I have actually because it's up here unless there's another one tucked in there somewhere one of the hazards of uh, playing Project Eden is that this the scenario is literally maintained by one brilliant person who's put a lot of effort into this and also the fact that some of these planets are actually scripted what you actually have is uh, planets POIs from previous versions of the game still scripted in and because they're not all fully generated and what can actually happen is that uh, some of the more updated rules here oops, I turned off the wrong one yeah so for example here you you've got you can have POIs which don't have generate territory but I mean that, that's okay that's not a problem so I'm just gonna get in here and do I want to sleep through the night uh, I think we will so we've got a bit of visibility so we've got a nice little bed in here I think in this closet I've put in other uh, boosts which I may want so I've got I got loads of boosts out of that uh, yeah I got loads of boosts out of the that looting of the abandoned bunker I just want to check my fuel supply let's have a quick look at the 74% fuel we should be okay 
Now I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the abandoned bunker. I'm going to put the SV right on the top of the, uh, what do you call it, uh, the, uh, the Elder Tomb, because that will give me in better uh, connectivity. So I'm just going to come in here, because obviously we weren't able to get really close because of all the structures around here. I'm just going to drop down here. Now there will be some talent around here, but they won't object to what we're doing. So I'm just going to come in here and turn the thrusters off. And I'm just going to have a quick weapons check. We've got quite a lot of ammunition and various weapons, though we are going to be primarily taking down spiders. Come here. And I think we'll just eat something before we leave as well. I want the whole vehicle. I want the silver shade. Bridge. No. I think we'll just one of those actually this. Come onto there. I think we'll just drop that into there. The other thing you also want is plenty of medication that will allow against open bites and poisonous bite. Probably could do with a couple more. Because Spiders will give you a poisonous bite. And we're just going to go down here. Now the first top level of this is pretty easy. In fact, it's it can trick you a little bit because you get down here and we'll go shotgun. And you won't see much going on down here. This first level. It's not until you get down further you will start to encountering. As far as I can remember, there's nothing on this floor we'll just have a quick look round it's like this is just a an empty top level oh well, we found some stuff in here okay. and this is what i'm really after it's plants you know a little bit of fiber so it's the plants that I'm after because these are the plants I'm going to put into my farming area inside of the SV. Oh, the Somalian thorn, that could be useful. Oops, that one's empty. <laughs> and so, uh, we're not doing too, too bad to start. A bit of medication as well. Again, if you're really early in the campaign, this can be a, a pretty good POI to check out. This is this is where we start to go down. Just to show you up on this side. This is a, this is the opposite side of the room, but it's it doesn't really have anything in. You can hear the spiders below, but they're no they're no problem. We're going to start to encounter them once we go down to there, but we can might as well just keep being a bit systematic. This as well, we might as well grab in the food supplies. Right, this is where we're going to start encountering the spiders. But if you've got a shotgun, it can be okay. There we are. There's one up there. Oops, wait, stand still. Reload. What will happen is they will come out of this these side rooms. Here they come. Uh, well, I just 
Let's pick up these first. I mean, to be honest, if you've got tier two weapons, you, this is a relatively easy POI. I haven't killed spiders for a long time. Oh, you might as well. And I don't think there's anything in this room. We need to go back. So what we need to do is just go back there. Now the room over there is where we drop off into the lower areas. But what we're going to do first is check out this area. Because the, I mean there is some reasonable loot around here. I can hear you. Um, I'll pick this up. Oh. So the alien thorn would be quite useful since we won't have to produce it. Got some more plants, which is what I'm after. Probably not getting as many plants as I was hoping for, but and this room. <laughs> You're dead. Quiz round here. Always, always keep thinking I want to sleep. I think that's a hangover from playing Skyrim when. Is it Skyrim? I can't remember where you, you have a, a, what we call it, a sleeping bag. I think that one. Uh, and again, you can see the med kits. So early on in the game, these med kits could be very, very useful. Uh, I think we're the bandages all together. And we've got some more bandages. And a little bit of mid. The game's just going to send this to here. What's this? Poisonous bites. Um, oh, we might as well hang on to that just for the moment. So we've now done the top level. And what we need to do is come down to this room here. Now, this, you don't normally get spiders in here. But if I get here, just to show you, you can see hello boys, and you can see that we're going to get some drop off here. And what you get is a drop down into the area below. If I show you here, it's a big area here, but what you do find is that if you cross across to here, you can then shoot down here. There's also a ledge over here you can jump to. So you can drop off of here onto a ledge, then that gives you the ability to shoot down into this area. But you can actually jump over to here, especially if you've got a, a pretty good get back the boost back to the shotgun and there is a little passageway here now one thing about going through here is it can be a bit disorientating because what actually happens is the texture blends in makes you a bit cross-eyed we got a passageway there uh, we'll take the peas um, I'm just going to grab this, and of course we've got a little container here, some more armor. Actually, why am I doing this? It's just been a bit stupid here. Really, be putting this straight into the tool turret. 
Yeah, we'll be okay for the moment. I must admit, the tool turret is a little bit unusual for this um, POI. Now, there is this pathway round, and what this does is it brings you round, back round to this room. And then there's a, a way down through there. But what we're going to do is just gonna go back the other way. What I want to do now is a jump across to there. I'm going to drop down one level and see if we can get into there. That starts to give us a bit of an oversight over this area here. You can kind of drop down in stages. Whoops. I say the one thing about this. Uh, POI is the, the visual effects and you can see here So you need plenty of shotgun shells here. Aha. Of course you can always get back up here. Wait for the stun to wear off. I mean, there is medication that will allow you. Whoops. To. Are we off? Uh, yeah, we got plenty of sniper rounds. Just reload. Uh, I can see you. Get all the food and supplies while we're at it. That's about it. You can see this slope, and this is what I was saying that when you come back to this slope, you it can be a little bit difficult to spot where you came from. Now I'm just going to stand up here because what I want to do is possibly maybe we change to the epic sniper rifle we might be able to get get rid of these. I know it's an expensive waste of ammunition but it's fun. Can't see any at the moment. They're probably round this corner. Okay, they're not round this corner. Okay, where are you? Oops. Oops. Hey, cut it out. Just 
get back here. If we come round here, you've got these little rooms you can look through. Oh, wow. Okay. I uh, wasn't expecting to be able to get through that gap there. That. Okay, I'm just going to put this in. They were doing quite well. <laughs> Right, this is the main loot room here. You see a nice big pile of loot in here. I'm just going to drop down. <laughs> There's nothing there. What I like to do is do the, the small loot first. So, just that. And then, of course, we'll turn our attention to the, the bigger stuff. Container controller. So I certainly take that. That more gold ingots. <laughs> um, more. What have we got here? Epic plasma rifle. We got another epic plasma rifle. And we're just gonna have a quick look out around here I'm a bit worried about where the big bugs are right, that's what we just hmm it's just actually <sighs> I think we're also uh, have some food. Oops, I've gone back. Opposite way. Never mind. We can just drop out here and head back to this area. As I say, you do need to orientate yourself sometimes in this POI. I'm not sure, I'm sure we've probably got everything in here that we actually need. And we got that up there. Yeah, so this is where you come out the other side. I'm not sure anything up there. And you can see we're now back to the room. In fact, I've got a feeling this is an old version of the Elder's Tomb. And it's not the one I was expecting to do. As you see, we've got these tunnels around the back here. And we've got that there. I think that's about it, actually. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, because I say the... The last one I did actually had some pretty big nasty bugs in it, but I'm not going to complain. And I say the way out is you jump over here. And I'm just going to jump up into here. And that's about it. And you can see we've got a really big supply of plants, which is exactly what I was after. We've got eggplants, we've got tomato sprouts, we've got Carver, we've got Akua berries, and we've got some more alien honey, we've got some blue peppers. Of course, we've also got a big supply of other items that we need. I can still hear spiders here, I just can't understand where they are. But I'm not too worried, I'm quite happy with what I've got here, so I think we can just move on. Wait, where are you? Are you in here? Or are you in here? Oh, okay. I mean, there could be some up here. No. Quick look round. I'm just going 
about here. And then eventually, I mean, there could be some spiders up on the surface actually. No, we've come away, so there's probably. Of course, there's always this spiral staircase. I am absolutely terrible with spiral staircases. I must admit, if there's one thing in a game, no matter what game I've ever played, this always gives me a bit of a headache. It's a spiral staircase. I'm not sure why, but that's the way it is. So I'm just going to jump into the ship. Power on the thrusters. And... There's an ancient outpost over there. But I don't think it's actually got anything of any real value in it. I think that's just it's predominantly cosmetic as far as I know. But we'll just give it a quick once over. Alright, we're right on the edge of Xerox territory. Now I'm just going to jump out. No, I'll just use the. Now, as, as I say, as far as I know, there's nothing of any great value in here. I'll we'll just have a quick look round. I mean, no, I don't. I think this is just purely uh, cosmetic, and this is where you somebody put something in the comments and says, "Well, buried uh, ten feet down underneath this is a a very valuable loot box." <laughs> Now we are on the edge of this territory here and there's part of me that says I would like to come down into this area but at the same time there's part of me that's a bit reluctant to get too engaged in this area here but I do know that we've got this Epsilon defence there and there's part of me that says I mean how much have we got in the way of ammunition? Leave the wayfarer there, and I think I'd like probably go and see if we can take down this Epsilon defence here, so that we can open up this area here. But the trouble is, I don't know if there's a base there, so we're going to, have to be a little bit cautious coming in. Change to. It says there's something away to the south. I'm also aware that it's starting to get a little bit dark, which is probably not the Pacific. Drop down even lower. Uh, it's not going to really make that much difference, is it? damage than I should have done. Pull off a little bit. Yeah, I think that was a little bit of stupidity there on my part. Oh, I don't know. I think we might have got away with it. <sighs> yeah, I think there's a little bit of overconfidence from the point of view of doing that uh, Elder Tomb. And he lost the Gatling guns there. was very, very lucky. We've lost the... No, we haven't lost the block off the top. Let's have a quick repair round. Okay, that's good. But underneath... Okay, we look pretty good. Just spotted some Pentaxid down here. 
I not pen tax it? Sorry, put me in. Kind of inclined to take that if I've actually managed to, if I actually remember to see if I've actually remembered to bring my uh, drill with me. There it is. Take the drill off and drill charge this up. off temporarily. I think we should be pretty safe here. insist on climbing all over my ship. I mean, Promethium is still quite rare, so every bit of Promethium I can grab will be great. And I'm just gonna grab that. Actually, what's that there? Oh, we got some iron bearing rock to take that as well. Getting on here. just roll up and kind of clean this out. Uh, what I would probably do is loot the rest, most of it off camera, but we will do the usual stunt. Uh, we'll come in here. I'm just going to drop down, cut the thrusters off. I don't really use the pulse rifle. Let's give this a go. Probably not one of my better ideas. Reload. Reload. Nothing like an epic assault rifle to make a difference. Um. Um, and of course, well, eventually we will call that out. So, quick look at what we've got here. Got some more copper, shotgun. Well, not going to win any awards, but we'll take it. Some more cobalt, some force fields. That were take that and I think what I will do is we're just going to uh, shut up the fact we've got what have we got here we got the drill I think we'll keep the drill for the moment we've got a tool turret which I'll do there and I think what we'll do is we'll just hear somebody walking around outside and I'll put this in yeah at the moment I'm just putting items into the factory to be able to make another ship. I've got an eye on an SV, which is by Jay Randall again. Apologies for that. But... Okay. <laughs> and of course, I haven't made a call. Come in here. Uh, silver shade. We should have enough make a call. If not, it's going to be embarrassing. What I will probably do, actually while we're doing that, look into, oops, right, well, while, while we're doing that, yeah, connection. So I'm just going to salvage this for the steel plates and wait for the core now for the uh, I've done it again no it's not the ammo is it the fridge are you still making this 
Why are you so slow? No. It's just... Still making it. Come on, game. And I must change that link from the ammo box. could bring up the capital vessel and loot this even better but I think I'm just going to be quite happy shunting this into uh, the workshop especially these um, yeah I think we're going to put these into the workshop okay, let me drop so I'm just going to put these into here so I'm just gonna I think just to show the library the SVs I'm thinking about yeah, where is it I like this Marauder Talon tier 2 the tier 3 is a bit awkward you can see because it, it needs four small optronic bridges this one doesn't it comes in just below the limit but it is upgradable you can see I'm actually not far off actually. A bit of carbon substrate and I've got it. I hadn't realised that. Maybe that's going to be the target. I'm just going to put that there. Um, take the fuel tanks. And uh, do armour door. I'll say that. I'm going to drop this into the factory. And then I think everything else will, will just... Doesn't change. I should not accept it. That's because it only needs substrate. Okay, it's just. Uh, I think the silver toaster's got more than enough to do all that. I mean, we'll be building other things from this as well, and the rest of it is just going to be kind of. Got hard to still block. Actually, got the radar from the top. I'll just salvage that. And again, we can just go through like this. I mean, if you just want a quick, basic supply of uh, hard to still blocks, and that an epsilon defense tower is a very good thing. But I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the next part. Probably go up into space actually because. I think we do need to start checking out the moons in this system. So I do, I've got some pentaxid, but I don't have as, an, in, enough. It's probably the polite way of saying it. So that will probably be the next part. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.